Hey guys, it's me Rahul. Today I have an Excel list of new best and free Android apps for you guys. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First application is called Hound. It is a new voice assistant app created by SoundHound. Is it better than Google now? Hmm. In some cases, in some cases Hound is better and in some cases Google Now is better. When you first open the application, you will be greeted with these examples that you can try. You can ask for weather status, you can convert units, you can search for songs and so on. It is definitely good in giving you more features, but it is lacking on the main side, that is voice detection. Hound's voice detection isn't perfect at all, it is good but not so accurate compared to Google Now. The main striking feature of Hound is that you can ask two things in one take, which is by far the most exciting feature. It is still in beta, it is also only available for those who live in the US, but you can always sideload this app. Also it need a code to activate, if you are excited to try this app, I can send you a code, I have 3 invites remaining. Next application I have for you guys is an amazing app, it is Google Photos. If you are a tech herd like me, you may already know about this app, it was announced in Google I.O. Basically, it is a gallery for all your photos and videos. Keyword all, you can store unlimited 1080p HD videos and photos for absolutely free. It is great, I was using OneDrive to upload all my photos before this and I am so happy that now I can store unlimited photos without even paying a cent. The user interface of this app is great too, just pinch in to zoom into your gallery and pinch out to zoom out from comfortable view to monthly view and to yearly view. You can create collages, slideshows and a lot with this app and it is one of those apps that I truly use every day. It is great. So check it out, it's free. Adobe made a new photo editing app for mobile and tablet devices. Here is my first impression. Lag, 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 oh my god, it is super laggy, yes it is super laggy as well as buggy as hell. But it is an awesome app, it is not powerful but it is, you'll see. To edit a photo, click on the plus, then select on the phone icon, then open an image to edit. Then on the bottom, as you guys can see, there are some options, adjust, looks, cut out and crop. In adjust, you can auto fix the color of the picture or you can mess up with exposure, contrast, clarity, saturation manually. Looks is the collection of some classic filters. Next option is the key feature of this app, you can cut out parts of a picture. You can also add new layers by selecting plus icon on the top, also you can crop pictures of course. It is not powerful at all but it will do the job and it is super laggy as hell. Second last one is shoot. It is a P2P photo and video sharing application. It is also cross-platform compatible, which means you can transfer files from your Windows phone or iPhone to your Android device. This application is actually easy to use than I thought. When you open up, you will be treated with these two options, receive or send. Select what you want to do, then if you want to send a file, then select the files and then select send. If you want to receive photo or video, just hold the senders mobile then scan the QR code that is displayed on their phone. That's all. It's pretty easy to do. Sometimes it will work, sometimes it doesn't do anything. Last one I have for you guys is another file sharing application which can transfer files between your Android device and your PC. It works great but there are some problems at least for now. Sometimes when I scan the QR code it doesn't work and also when I try to transfer files sometimes it stops. So how it works? First go to portal.pushpillar.com then open the app in your Android device then scan the QR code displayed on your PC screen. Once you are logged in drag and drop the files that you want to transfer and done that's all. It is still not the best, I prefer using WebShare Lite which gives a lot of features for absolutely free. And my worth mention of this week is going to be Vessel Beta. You may know about this website called Vessel which give early access to your favorite YouTubers video. So that's been guys, hope you guys liked this video. If you did then definitely give a big thumbs up, it will help me out guys and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.